Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're glad to have you listening with us. Today's topic looks at the simple truth of the gospel and why we need to hear it again and again. We'll return with the devotional after a brief message from one of our sponsors. I'm Don Hawkins, inviting you to be encouraged with my weekly podcast, Encouragement for You. To subscribe, go to lifeaudio.com. The x-rays show that your puppy swallowed a penny. Sparky, is that serious, doctor? No, but you can get serious savings at BJ's Gas. You can buy a gallon with that very penny once it <clears throat> reappears. Ew. I see another penny. Keep looking. You can get gas as low as one cent per gallon during BJ's Wholesale Club's gas event. For each fuel saver item you buy, you'll save 10 cents per gallon on your next fill-up at BJ's Gas within 30 days of purchase. BJ's. <clears throat> Absurdly simple savings. $99 a 40 gallon maximum, whichever comes first. Go to BJ's.com slash gas for offer terms and a list of participating items. Please don't feed pennies to dogs. Why You Need to Hear the Gospel Again by Sarah E. Martin Read by Leah Martin Fix these words of mine in your hearts and minds. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road, when you lie down and when you get up. Deuteronomy eleven eighteen through 21 I was again hearing the words spoken to me my whole life, from flannel graphs in Sunday school to today's sermon preached from Genesis 3. I'd heard this story before. I was a guest in my friend's church, which met in an old chapel with all the traditional trimmings, pews, hymnals, and the smell of old wood. The pastor preached on the fall, the fateful turn of humanity's tale, when man's faith in God shattered. And so did everything else. Sin entered the world, and what was formerly home and belonging became unreachable and lost. God's voice was no longer the only one we listened to. As the pastor told this story, he delivered a powerful presentation of the gospel. He made connections within Scripture that drew out a certain angle of the light of the good news that my heart just happened to need to hear that week. You'd think after all these years, I would cease to be amazed by the Bible's message and all the ways we can see it from Genesis to Revelation. You'd think that eventually I would graduate and perfectly embody all of its truth in each corner of my life and wouldn't need it poured into my ears over and over again. But reader, I do, and so do you. Though the stories never change, the essential message that we're broken and Christ is the answer remains the same, and God continually delivers it anew to us when we walk along the way. He's made us to need His Word like we need food, to come to life as His Spirit helps us hear what we couldn't before. Every verse of the Bible tells us that to be alive, to be sustained, to remain vital, with fresh life pouring and flowing through us, we need words. Though I had heard it, Countless times, I have a tendency, symptomatic of being human, to let even the most sacred truths sit filed away, archived like a thing I've collected, rather than the living, breathing thing it is, dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. Hebrews 4.12 If this happens to the gospel in your life, you'll quickly begin to work and strive for what Jesus has already done for you, placing a yoke that isn't his and therefore isn't freedom, back on your sore shoulders. But hearing the pastor deliver God's word afresh both humbled me and lifted me in the way that only Jesus can do. The truth is that mankind failed, and we continue to fail. But God sent his son Jesus to become like us and to do the unthinkable by taking on our curse so we might be free. And looking to him in faith, is all it takes to be healed. That's it. I don't know about you, but I'd be crushed if it wasn't for this good news sustaining every moment for me. This is the good news we need to hear and receive every day, that we're sinners and Christ is our Savior. Whether it's from a pastor, a minister, a family member, or a friend, 
Hearing the gospel spoken out loud, taking shape in another person's words, is life-giving to our faith. When was the last time someone spoke these words out loud to you? When was the last time you spoke them out loud to someone else or even to yourself? When the enemy tempted Jesus with his twisted words, challenging him to use his power to satisfy his hunger, Jesus responded, It is written, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Matthew 4.4 4. It's easy to forget the power of words. In the daily onslaught of messaging and information, words can gradually become common, misused, and drained of their worth. But Christians can't forget our need for the words that come from the mouth of God. In the beginning, God spoke. And a cosmos of life and light and earth and stars erupted out of nothing, spread across all existing space and continues to expand to this day. The words of God began life in the most literal as well as spiritual sense. It shouldn't surprise us then that it's the Word of God that sustains the life in us. When we believe in Christ, God puts a new spirit in us that's living, active, and sustained by God Himself. His words and our abiding in them is what feeds that life. Intersecting Faith and Life When was the last time you were strengthened by someone speaking the gospel to you in their own words? Ask the Lord to bring to mind someone you can encourage with the simple gospel or perhaps share with them for the first time. For further reading, explore Deuteronomy 11, 1 through 21 and 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 11. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. Hi, I'm Zach. And I'm Randy. And we're from Salty Saints Podcast. We're a theology and apologetics podcast. To find out more, subscribe at lifeaudio.com.